I'm verklempt. I'm verklempt. Can you verklemp me? Verklemp me? Verklemp. Can you think of a... Suck my ass. Just... Hey, welcome back to our stupid direct suits, of course. I'm Ellen DeGeneres. You follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to Patreon. What's your, what's your fancy? Uh, we have Old Monk, we have Antiquity Blue, and we have a whiskey. Near me. I have more, but... A whiskey? What whiskey? Sorry, not whiskey. I meant tequila. Oh, yeah. Tequila. 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 There's a glorious, glorious, wonderful thing that I didn't even realize until I watched it again recently because we watched Badla with a couple of friends who are not familiar with Indian cinema. Oh, really? So we watched Badla with them. They liked it very much. Okay. Not a surprise. But in the very opening of that movie, like either right in credits or end credits, Big B's crossing the street. He's going to go talk to Top. He's about to go walk in to knock on the door of Topsy Panu's place, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a guy right out front selling nuts and all he's saying is nuts big b's on screen walking and the guy is saying nuts nuts and he walks by him and he declines and he says i have to be big b's tasty nuts <laughs> okay i was so happy today we got a cricket video this is a top 14 bat break b b top 14 bat Bats broken deliveries in cricket. That's something, honestly. I've never seen a cricket bat. I've broken. never seen a cricket bat break. It happens all the time in Major League Baseball. Yeah, because they can't use metal ones. Right? No. Because no. the balls the would just be. Big. If they used if they used aluminum bats in in because they use them in college because it's cost effective. You, you don't have to keep buying bats, so they use aluminum in college. But you'd kill people. The ball would be there. Wouldn't be enough time to react, especially third baseman and pitchers. You'd, you'd exit velocities are already close to 120 miles per hour with guys like Stanton. Mm -hmm. the, the exit velocity, you, you, there's not enough time to react to that. You'd, you'd kill people. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, they break a lot. I've never seen. I don't think a I, cricket bat break. Um, so yeah, how often does it happen? Because obviously the ball is a little slower, but it's still a wooden thing with something coming really fast at right. it. So I'm so sure, sure it happens a decent amount. Absolutely. And, and it's coming in quick. Um, like your And mother. I bet it's, I bet a lot of the breaks are happening up close to the hands where, where it thins out or off on the far edges maybe. Yeah. Let's see. Here we I'm go. very intrigued. Oh, look at that. Just split the freaking thing in half. Also, what happens? You have to do it with your hand? The, the tag? Why isn't he running? I was gonna say, does does play just continue? Wow, that background music is loud. Does yeah, does play continue? Because in baseball, play continues if the ball is fair. Why isn't he running? Is it because you can't tag if you don't? No, have yeah, it? play is still going. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you have to. No, oh, no, he still has it. Yeah, you you keep going. Why didn't the other one though? I wonder if they break more in the middle or more towards the handle. I bet it's toward the handle. Oh, that's in the middle. And... In... I want to see them continuing to play because I want to see what they have to do. Right in the middle. I wonder if that's a weak point. Oh, ow. Another question would be... So he's going, but he doesn't even have the bat anymore. Are there ever times when someone is found guilty of using an illegal bat? Because that has happened many times in baseball. Whether it's been corked or they use pine tar. Oh, look out. I just want to know, like, why does some keep playing? <laughs> I heard it badly. 
They're all breaking kind of around in the same spot. Swung out like a bat. Yeah. Swung out like a base. Oh, so they're still running. It's not like me answer my question. <laughs> I get it. They're doing it for copyright reasons, but it's loud. Nice. Obviously, being much shorter, you have to run. Yeah. Because you can't... I'm guessing you still have to run, and so... That's probably why that guy dove in the first one. <laughs> yeah, I went flying. <laughs> Oop. Hello. <But> that <laughs> just just kind of like... <laughs> it was like... <laughs> <laughs> it kind of folded. It didn't really yeah. break. It more, it more folded in half. Yeah, there you go. The ball is just coming so fast that it... <laughs> I heard a guy at the beginning say that's the difference between the, the bats from what they used to be. So did they used to be made, like, mm. heavier, They're maybe? More, more porous material now? Wait. Maybe for bat speed to make them a little lighter? Yeah, so you can get your... But obviously, if it's thicker, I feel like you could hit it a little farther, but maybe that's not the point in, base, in cricket, right? Yeah, I don't... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I went limp. I went limp. <laughs> and is that is it is it common? I, the way the cricket people are looking, like I don't think it is. I, I would think it's not because, like, like in a baseball game, you'll get a broken bat. Maybe once every three or four games, a yeah. cracked bat or a broken bat. Out of 162 games a year. Nah, he just broke it himself. Yeah, it's super yeah, that's interesting. another thing. Have have any guys ever done what happens in baseball where you get out and you're so aggravated you snap it over your leg? <laughs> That is not easy to do. And I'm not talking like the bat was cracked or broken before. Like, I've seen guys, they're just so pissed off. They take their oh, yeah. perfectly good bat and snap it over their their knee. They're not paying for it. No, but or maybe they do. Have you ever tried to do that? No, no. It's freaking... You have to it's be a solid freaking, piece of wood. You have to be crazy strong to snap a, a baseball bat over your knee, man. No, those are solid wood. No, yeah, they're, they're wood. Uh, obviously, these men that, in baseball at least, are super... Crazy oh, buff beasts, um, guys like Stanton and Big Judge. Poppy and could big, do with his... big Poppy could do it with his butt cheeks. <laughs> I love Big Poppy, man. So do I. Uh, uh, one of the great uh, Red Sox legends. But yeah, he, he was that year. That wasn't that the wasn't the end of the curse the same year as the Boston bombing? Yeah, yeah. I think everyone in America was rooting for the Red Sox. I think. Yeah, I think every, yours truly. I was rooting for the Red Sox that year. Uh, so was I. Yeah, I know you were. Um, and that then, was a, that was a great year for baseball. That Red Sox team. Yeah, it's super interesting. One, please let me know. Do they have to keep running? Because right, it didn't really answer that for me. No, so, like one it was guy, like half the time one they guy ran, do half it, the and then the other. What in what instances? Obviously, if somebody catches the ball, I'm sure. Obviously, they don't have to run. No. So. Um, Maybe that's why some of them weren't running because mm. somebody just caught the ball, or is it stoppage of play? Right, because of that, I don't know. Um, and do they make the bats differently nowadays? I bet they do. Right, compared to because a lot of those the old like days, almost like really not hollow, but like not solid just porous. Wood. Yeah, they look yeah. pretty porous. I'm getting, I'm, and I've I've swung a bat. Uh, uh, um, right, what are they called? Me too. Are they called yeah, cricket bat. Yeah. Cricket bat. And they're not the heaviest. So no. I'm guessing that's obviously because of they want to be able to get the bat around. They balance the weight, and it does look porous because the other thing they don't do, at least in this that we just saw of these 14, when they break, it looks like they like break in half. There's not a lot of splintering, which can happen with a baseball bat. Yeah. You can get splintering. Well, we uh, your bat can shatter. That is solid wood. Yeah, it's a solid piece of wood. They just they take. There, a, there's no porousness to it. A they just tree, and they, they just zzz. zip it down. Yep. It's, I mean, it's very wasteful for the tree, yeah. probably, but yeah. I'm assuming they have a farm for baseball bats. Like, 100%. There's probably tree farming that they give steroids to these And they grow trees, the trees. Yep. Specifically for the bats. Yep. 
Um, and, and then, grant, grant and then there's specific mud for baseball. You, 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 yes, have you seen that whole documentary? There is, <laughs> but it's only from one place, from one family. They've yep. I find one it one family. I find has it always incredibly the, stupid. The mud. <laughs> I find that incredibly stupid. Yep. I'm like, really? Just get mud. You I know. I know. Um, but yeah, cool. Uh, cool video. Uh, let us know if you've ever broken a bat. And have have anybody? Well, they ain't cheap, man. Anybody ever been injured? By I a bet. broken bat, because that's happened so. in baseball. I'd imagine so. I would imagine so too. Has a uh, has a bird ever been hit with a cricket ball? Like yeah. it was in uh, at one famous time in baseball. God, that was insane. There's a moment bird exploded. The bird literally looked like it had been shot at point blank range with a shotgun. It basically had. It did. It flew right in front of the fastball, and just like a cartoon goes, feathers. Poof. No bird left. <laughs> the the odds of that happening. Oh, yeah. The odds of the bird just happening to go through right at the same time as the ball's trajectory hits it is insane. Absolutely insane. Yeah. Anyway, it's a cool video. Let us know what are the cricket videos uh, that we can react to down below. Josh!